Join me as we make some spooky potion bottles perfect for your Halloween decor. Hi, I am Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker, and if you love crafting as much as I do, then you should definitely subscribe. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials, ring that bell. I've got all of our supplies laid out so you can see everything that you'll need. We are going to use some Etch All Etching Cream, some Mod Podge, Black Shimmer Metallic Luster. These are re-inkers in purple, green, and orange. Re-inkers are for stamp pads, but if you don't have re-inkers, you can also use food coloring. That'd work just fine. Here are my glass bottles that we are going to turn into fun potion bottles. Then I've got the toppers with some lights in them. And I've already cut out my stencil out of the etch mask using my Cricut. And I will have these designs available for you so that you can use them as well. And then some etch mask transfer tape. And I will be using some plastic cups as well. First, we want to color the inside of our glass. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to pour several tablespoons in there. I'm not measuring as you can see just kind of guessing and then I'm gonna take my inker again you can use food coloring and I'm gonna add some color and then we can just stir it up with a popsicle stick and I love using Mod Podge because it dries clear except since we've tinted it it will dry clear with a green tint so I'm going to take the top off. We don't even need this uh, cork topper. We can save that for another craft. And I'm going to pour my green inside. Then we're going to take our bottle and just roll that, um, that Mod Podge mixture around inside. We want it to completely coat the entire bottle. And then I want the rest of the excess to drip out. So I've got a little toilet paper roll here. I'm just going to put it right back into the cup. And then that can hold my bottle so the rest of the ink can drip out. Here are the potion bottles. Now they aren't translucent yet because that Mod Podge inside has not dried yet. So that is going to take several hours, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is glass etching. Here is my stencil. I've got it cut out of my etch mask and I'm going to transfer it to my bottle. So I've got my etch mask transfer tape and we're just going to peel off that backing sheet and then roll it onto our stencil got a scraper tool here so I can scrape it down really good and I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna scrape the other side too and then I can peel back the backing paper to the etch mask so that my stencil is stuck to the transfer tape now I'm going to put the stencil on the bottle and I want it to be as straight as possible but I am going to eyeball it I'm an eyeballer Okay, so we're going to press down in the center first and then go out to the edges and then I can peel back that transfer tape. Now you'll see I have a pretty big wrinkle there. There doesn't matter. We don't want to have any wrinkles or air bubbles around the bottle or around where we're going to etch because anywhere that etching cream touches it will etch. So I'm going to grab my scraper tool here and I'm just going to push that down. I have a little bubble there by the W so I want to make sure that that is pushed down. I've got some painters tape and I'm just going to go around that etch mask a little bit more just to give me a little bit wider area so I don't mess up and etch where I shouldn't. And I'm even going to cup those edges 
so if any uh, uh, drips, it won't drip down this side. I'm going to take my Etch All Etching Cream and put a spoonful. It doesn't really take that much. In fact, that's a ton. <laughs> but what you don't use, you can always put back in the bottle. I'm going to take my little squeegee tool here. I'm going to push that around and I really want to make sure that that etching cream is in all of the nooks and crannies. And now we're going to let the etching cream sit for about 15 minutes. It has been 15 minutes so now I am going to wash off the etching cream in the sink. Now I should note this is best done in a porcelain sink. The etching cream can etch a stainless steel sink like the one that I have. Although this is my craft sink, it's already stained. I don't care if it gets more stained, but for you, it may matter. We have rinsed all of the etching cream off of the bottle, so now we can take off all the tape and the stencil. I put tape over the top so I wouldn't get water in my bottle as I was rinsing it off. And there is our Eye of Newt glass bottle. Let me bring in my other ones. We've got our Bat Tonic and our Poison. Now we're going to add a little bit of color to that etched glass using this Black Shimmer Metallic Luster. And I've got a little sponge. And we basically just want to rub it in to our etch, into our glass etching there and that will really help it pop. Now this paint is not waterproof, so I wouldn't recommend doing this on something that you would put in the dishwasher or wash, but it is great for the uh, decorative items like we're making here. And then since it comes off with water, if you have any little stubborn areas that aren't coming clean, you can just take a little q-tip like I have here and just clean it up a little bit. Here is our Eye of Newt, our Bat Tonic, and our Poison. Now we're going to let the Mod Podge inside completely dry. Here is our green Eye of Newt bottle. Now that it is dry and translucent, isn't that so cool? Now there is still just a little bit there in the back. It hasn't completely dried, but we are going to move on anyways. So I did need to let these sit overnight to dry completely. Our orange bat tonic and our purple poison. Aren't those so cool? The last thing to do is to put our lights in. So we're gonna test them to make sure that they work and then we're going to unwind them. Then we're just gonna speed that wire into our bottle. And I'm gonna kink it every once in a while just to give it some shape. Put our topper on. So there is our lights. You can see them in there and let's go ahead and turn them on. Look at how fun that is. Here's our bat tonic and our poison. Didn't these turn out so cute? I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. You can always find lots of free tutorials on my website, thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.